Dun, dun, dun. For the past couple of months, I'd say like, when did I get a perm? Like July or something, so it's been like five months. I've been rocking more of that wavy hair look, you know what I mean? That soft boy kind of look. I did the curly hair perm. I'm glad I got it out of my system and out of the way. But now I kind of just want to rock my hair like straight and how I usually would. I think I'm at the point in my life where I don't really care how my hair looks too much. I kind of just want to seem like I shower. And as long as I look like I shower and I look like I'm clean, I'm okay with it. You know what I mean? I just got these two pairs of Collegium shoes. I've been meaning to buy these shoes to support this company for so long every fashion account that i follow whether it be on youtube or instagram post about these shoes okay like i can't get away from them and every single time that i try to get these they sell out like i'm always like too slow to get it okay like i add it to my cart and then boom sold out what am I supposed to do? Yesterday, I woke up to a DM from the Collegium account and the owner of Collegium, Nick, reached out to me talking about, yo, I know you wanted to get these shoes because I DM'd them, obviously. Do you want a link to purchase them? I said, yes, I would love that. And after I paid for the shoes, he literally said, I'm gonna throw in this pair for free. Why are you so nice to me, Nick? This is the best day of my life. But yeah, Collegium shoes. Let me do a breakdown of everything I know, which is not a lot. Made in Italy, pretty much it. I feel like for me, at least, these are gonna be my everyday shoes just because my everyday shoes right now are Air Force ones. Let me show you them, hold on. Girl, <laughs> huh? These might as well be attached to a heartbeat monitor because this shit is on life support. Uh-oh. You know, since I've been away from YouTube for a while, I've been trying a lot of new coffee spots. Ah. See, whenever I take long breaks from YouTube, I never really feel that bad because I kind of see it as like research and development. You know what I mean? Like I'm going out, I'm trying new food places still. And then I come back and I report to you guys. <coughs> Right now it's 10 in the morning and it's about time that I go get myself some coffee. Today I'm gonna show you guys a new spot that I found out about um, through my friend Aria. If I'm not mistaken, I've been there twice already and I love it every time. So hopefully today is good as well. Shut up! Today, I got the regular cafe latte with almond milk just because some places when they make vanilla ice lattes, they add a little bit too much syrup, which makes it taste more of a dessert than coffee. Mmm. Oh. I'll leave. Yeah, I'll leave. My parking expires at 11.38 and exactly right now is 11.38. I got a dip. Uh-oh. One of the main reasons why I wanted to go to this coffee shop today is because it's located downtown next to one of my favorite shopping stores. I'm gonna finish this croissant, go inside and go shopping for a bit, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I get. Okay, so for this part of the video, I'm really just gonna be talking about fashion-related things. And I know that fashion is really only catered towards like a particular niche or like a group of people that are interested in clothes and things of that nature, especially dudes, because as a guy myself, I like looking at other like fashion YouTubers just for like inspiration or like maybe I'm just nosy and I wanna know their latest pickup. So, but yeah, I haven't vlogged in a couple months and recently I've been doing a lot of shopping. So I just wanna show you guys a couple pieces that I got. Ew, oh shit, we gotta start with this. This right here is a sweater that I got at Dover Street Market. It's a Stussy sweater, I believe it's like some type of knit if you look at my closet i really don't have that much red things and because i feel like wearing the color red just makes me angry you know what i mean and red really isn't like that appealing of a color to me so i don't really buy red clothes but i saw this it popped out in my eyes and i feel like it's just like a cute sweater that i just toss on let's say i'm about to go get ice cream with my homies just toss it on keep myself warm and honestly it's very cozy so yeah should I put the camera down? What the fuck? The next pickup that I have right here is a Sonic Youth t-shirt with like this, this bunny. Kind of looks scary to be honest. But I believe this shirt is kind of like a quote unquote like bootleg or inspired by the Sonic Youth tee. Which costs like I think anywhere from like 1 to 3k. I forget. But I don't really even know that band to be honest. I just thought this looked cool like as a graphic. So I got it. The wash is kind of like a like a faded black gray almost. The back says Ascension. I tend to buy more like quiet pieces. Like no logo. No branding whatsoever. So I feel like it's a good switch up to get some in graphics once in a while. You know what I mean? Sticking with the t-shirt theme. We have a Bode or Bode vintage wash t-shirt. How do you pronounce this shit? Oh. Bode. Okay. A lot of their garments are like one of one pieces or it's not fast fashion where they mass produce each product. It's more so like um, 
I think handcrafted. Yeah, I don't fucking know, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I got this t-shirt because I saw a TikTok of Nam June from BTS wearing this t-shirt, and I was like, damn, that shit look fire. So I just bought the same thing. The brand name is pretty much spelled out with buttons that are sewn on. I can't imagine washing it. Like washing this shirt must be a pain in the ass because you have to hand wash it, right? So if you throw this into the machine, you might fuck around and just lose the buttons. You know what I mean? We have the Bottega Veneta wool crop jacket. This jacket was such a pain to get for the longest time. It was sold out right because it was made popular by Kanye West and I'm not really even like a Kanye West like diehard fan where like I want to wear everything he wears I'm never like holy smokes what kind of underpants are Kanye wearing I want to wear through the loom too because of him this jacket was sold out everywhere and I was looking and grilled and there was only like one jacket available and I bought it from this guy from Australia I had it shipped over here it took like maybe two to three weeks and as soon as I got it my person at Bottega Veneta texted me talking about oh it restocked huh but yeah, this is how the jacket fits like on me. It's a very crop jacket, which I kind of prefer wearing crop things just because like being 5'8", like I'm not six feet tall, you know what I mean? So you really have to know your proportions. I feel like if you're on the shorter side, crop jackets really benefit you and make you look taller. That compared with some Air Force Ones, shee! I will say though, even though I like it a lot, it is made of wool, so it does prick my skin. So sometimes it is a little bit itchy, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Probably can't do anything. Oh yeah, and the only detail that it has is pretty much this um, Bottega Veneta signature pocket. Is it even considered a pocket at this point? Can't fit anything in here. The second jacket that we have is a Ben Gable Knit Varsity Jacket. You guys know the homie Jet. Okay, his mom and his friend made this brand. The whole like appeal to this brand is they get vintage garments and they kind of put their twist into it. So for this jacket in particular, this is a vintage, maybe like a college or a high school varsity jacket. The original owner's name was Sarah. Shout out Sarah. And what they did was they took like Vegas vintage fabrics and put it on it. So the back is like, what do you call this? Like a casino chip? Some cards. Wait, 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 what's this called? A full house, a full house, yes sir. More like Vegas signs, some stars or fireworks, Las Vegas hand stitch right here. And overall, I just love this piece because there's so many cool details and I wore this to Head in the Clouds Festival recently and right as I walked through the security, the security guy was like, yo, nice jacket. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> like, look at this, bro. Ben Gable knits Las Vegas tag, crazy. Third jacket that we have is this beautiful, green comma wear jacket. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys are no stranger to comma wear. I love this brand with all my heart, okay? Every single drop, I'm always on the website, like clicking refresh, refresh, refresh so that I can buy their stuff. We have, I don't know how to pronounce this, but I think it's Rukagani zippers. Feels very natural, very easy to zip. This is also like a double zip too, so you can zip it up from the bottom as well, just in case you wanna like, they are at the bottom a little bit. We have Cobra snap buttons on the wrist just in case you want it to be like more slim. For whatever reason, I don't personally find myself using this at all, but I guess you could do this for like more dimension. I love this cut so much because it's like a little bit longer in the front, but in the back, it kind of goes up. You know what I mean? Which is perfect if you're wearing like a t-shirt that way you can layer like this. For me, jackets that have like straight cut are so like, oh. <laughs> it's just so boring. Like we've seen it so many times before. We also have like, this kind of detail that adds more dimension to the jacket. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I feel like it takes a little bit of time to get used to it, but honestly, I feel like it's unique. You know what I mean? Okay, sorry, I had to take a break because I had to do like a cooking video randomly. Do you guys mind if I put a Valorant in the back? By the way, this is what I do every night. Like I love watching people play Val and then I play Val myself as well. So like, I hope it's not too distracting. Another pickup that I got recently was... Da -da -da -da. Chrome Heart. I've always heard about the Chrome Heart store and how like luxurious it was and how the shopping experience is so cool. And I know Chrome Hearts as a brand is like almost like a cult following. Can I say that? So recently I had some free time and I made an appointment to go to the Chrome Heart store here in, I think it was West Hollywood. Yeah, it's to like that extent. It's like a luxury brand. Like when you walk into the store, there's like one person helping you. And when you pick up one of their goods, they're watching you like this. Mahalo making sure you're not stealing anything, bro. No, but they're actually very nice and very helpful, I thought. Originally, I went there to get a necklace because I really want this like dagger necklace. 
as well as a beanie, but they only had uh, this right here is their paper chain. Each individual chain has CH carved in it. We like it. Do we hate it? I feel like it's too long of a chain to not have like a pendant. But yeah, I picked this up just because I was really on the market for a silver chain. And plus, I think it's a nice switch up from this chain that I always wear that my mom gave me. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Ha! And put this right here. I want to put you guys on some possible things that you guys can expect in the future for videos at least my sister did just sign a lease for her office in la yeah she will be having her own office in la to do lashes and stuff so i think i might do some vlogs of like me helping her renovate her room whether it be like painting the walls or you know going to ikea and decorating everything for her you know because i really want her office to be as comfortable as possible for her to be in the right mind space to work harder we're also going to the bts concert i actually don't even have tickets yet i have to buy tickets for the bts concert i do have tickets to give away <laughs> you guys see how much i care about you guys i get tickets to give away to you guys before i even get some for myself <laughs> we also have two of my high school friends coming to la as well and we're gonna go to jingle ball and that week i think i'm gonna try to vlog as much as possible i was thinking about going rock climbing i was thinking about going to k1 speed we're definitely gonna get into some bullshit because when the three of us are together it's always a good time and in december i might be going to new york Mm. Yo, I'm gonna get a bacon, egg, and cheese and a chopped cheese with the bev. I'm so excited to be going to New York or even the East Coast in the first time because like I haven't seen snow in so long. I've only seen snow one time in my life. So yeah, that's all the updates that I have. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Mm.